get into it properly. Am Most, I stuck in the wall? I think so. Oh, nope, nope, there you go. There we go. But, um... I think I was stuck in the wall there. Yeah, for a bit. But I've always been curious about that because my grandmother, uh, uh, my paternal Please grandmother... Please don't tell me your grandmother did porn. No, no, no. It's because I have, uh, my father has two siblings, my aunt and my uncle. Uh -huh. And all three of them are from different fathers. I've never met any of their dads. I haven't met my paternal grandfather. I don't know anything about any of the three of them. And it's it's just always interesting to me because there was a period during high school where literally every like few months I was meeting new family members I had never met or heard anything about before. And I'm still like constantly like finding out about new family members I've never heard of on both sides of my family. And it's bizarre to me to think that like most people just know their family and to me it Well, I have huge chunks of my family I have and never will meet. Yeah. But I have a jut my mom had My oh. mom was the youngest of six. Oof. I never met my uncle, he died in prison. Uh wow. never met any of his kids. Never gonna meet him. I right. don't even like I don't even keep in touch with my sisters at this point. Like, oh, so I don't. I haven't kept really in touch with any of my family for like the past year or so. I'm terrible about keeping in touch we with have people. We've liberated Suprico Sprint. Suprico. No, we, we've liberated Suprico. Serpico. Suprico. Is it Serpico? Or no, Serpico. it's Serpico. Yeah. All right. Serpico. So the next. But yeah, so, that's, my family is weird like that, but it's also, we're really spread out because, like, there's a lot of reasons, but it's also because, like, I have a Romani ancestry, a uh, gypsy, if you want to be offensive, but, like, we're all very nomadic in a sense. We rarely, like, t take down any kind of roots, any rant, any specific place. So, what, you're like, uh, Robin. Dick Robin. Mason. I guess so. He's Romani. Is he really? That's the claim currently, and so there's a huge. Well, okay, I don't which read one are Batman? we? Batman. Fuck Batman. We're talking Dick, Dick Grayson, Grayson specifically, not none of the other. Okay. He's interesting. Uh, and so. Uh, I know later. it'd be nice to have some positive role models in that sense, and because pretty much every character in pop culture who's Romani is treated as like sneaky or villainous, like you know. Like the uh, old man and thinner. Yeah, like, pretty much any gypsy is like, I'm gonna give you a curse, or like, um... I mean, t like... Or like, in Legend of Zelda, like, uh, Ganondorf is Germans. more or less, like, he, they're technically, uh, fuck, where are they? Uh, why am I drawing a blank on this? Uh, Gerudo, yeah, the Gerudo are pretty much always, are, like, more or less Romani, like, ve very clearly influenced by that, or, like, the Middle East, and, like, they're... Kind, they're always treated as like sneaky, like and like they're the Wait, main did you villain jump of the series. Down to die? He did it. He snapped his ankles in half. Wow. And it's it's really frustrating seeing that kind of stuff because I'd like to see at least a handful. And with yeah, Legend I mean, of Zelda, can... the thing I've heard is it would someone like propose like it would be really cool if there was a Legend of Zelda where uh, the one male Gerudo that's born every hundred years, like that's the mythology, I guess, is, um, would be Link. Like, why couldn't Link be that Gerudo in one of the games? Because it's usually a different Link every time. Like, that would be a really cool game. Starting out in, like, the Gerudo area and, like, going from there. Hey, here's my thing. I'm German-Irish. Right. So, like, I fucking... That hurt. Oh. Like, name one positive German stereotype. They make good yeah, sausage and beer. That's not a stereotype. That's just fact. Well, shit. A stereotype can be fact. Mm, um, like, like our stereotype is either we're fascist or fucking stupid. Yeah. Preferably both, if you really want to. Or know. very ill-humored. They are not a funny people. Um, I love Robin Williams' comment on that. Yeah. Fucking, that was harsh. Uh, when asked during a German interview uh, why he thought that maybe the Germans weren't as funny as the uh, other countries, he straight up asked him, did you think that maybe you killed all the funny people? Oh! And well, I was like, 
It's also that if you look at German quote unquote comedies, they're really dark. Like some of the darkest movies you'll ever see are German comedies. Some fucked up called, shit happens. They have a movie called Funny Game. Yeah. It is the darkest shit or, I've ever seen. Oh, uh, Ryan Reynolds was in one called The Voices, where he's it's just straight up he's a schizophrenic. Uh, and he goes on a murderous rampage, and that's- it's supposed to be a comedy. It's real fucked up. In so many ways. I feel like the Germans, uh... I can't speak for Germany. I can only speak for what I would assume about Germany. Mm -hmm. It just seems like, you know, you've got these people that... They've been through some shit, like, what people don't realize, uh... A lot of the movies they were making during World War II weren't propaganda films. They were comedies. Yeah. Like, they were trying to, like, because fucking war is god awful and you gotta lift your people's spirits. Yeah, you, know? you gotta lay in the mood. And so, like, yeah, Triumph of the Will is all oh! that. But, you know, for the most part, the movies weren't all Triumph of the Will. It was, uh, you know, comedies. Lighthearted comedies. And, uh, oh, cool. German lighthearted comedies. Well, early 40s, all comedies were pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, fair point. It was a lot of slapstick, because they were just they were just shocked to see things moving on the screen, like, holy shit, stuff's going from weird over there. It's not a picture, it's a moving picture? Jeez. I wonder if I can pull this off. Oh shit, let's see. One don't, don't snap. Damn it, snap. Yeah, I can't say much for the German side. I definitely have I I have Irish and uh, Norwegian on my mother's side, so I do definitely have some Irish roots, and the Irish are pretty well hated. Oh god, like, the since, Irish for quite a long time for Germans, reasons I Americans don't understand. War were hated. Uh, we were not a popular people pre-war. Oh yeah, well, I mean, which war are we talking about? Because World War Either. One, they definitely people were not super happy with. Um. Pre-war, we were fucking just anathema. But uh, look up Benjamin Franklin's comments on the Germans. I would. My phone is in the other room. Uh, <laughs> he called us a swarthy and ignorant lot. Shit. For those of you who don't know, swarthy means not white. Oh, God, really? Yeah. Fuck, I need to stop using that word then. I thought it just meant, like... Pirates? Yeah. <laughs> it means very tanned. Oh, shit, I thought it just meant like a... It's the skin color. Actually, thinking about it, I always thought it just meant like dark in a grimy way, and actually thinking about it, that is actually pretty reason... Oh god, I gotta stop using that word. Well, like, That's pretty you'd fucked. never know that if you weren't like, Swarthy? Is that an insult? Like, why are you calling us Swarthy? And so, he called us an ignorant and Swarthy lot. And through the face! Oh! Uh, he said that... Now, let's see if you recognize some of the comments he made. Okay. Uh, maybe made by modern day, uh, oh, who shot at me? Who uh, shot at me? He, uh, said that we were too stupid to assimilate into American society. Oh. And that if we were to allow these Germans into our country, we'd be eating German food. We would have to learn to speak German in our schools because they'd never learn to speak English. Oh. They would assimilate our, our, us into their culture because they wouldn't assimilate into American culture. Mm. This is Benjamin fucking Franklin, by the way. Oh, he was Thinking really cool, Germany. too. No, he wasn't. As far as, I mean, as far as founding fathers go, he was he was on the, the cool side. He was an ass. Okay. Compared to a lot of them, he was whoa, whoa, one of the cooler whoa. ones. Hey, oh, what, what's the deal over here? Do they have the anti-aircraft? I will say, though, why are people so, like... For decades, the most popular foreign language in schools has been Spanish, for exactly that reason. And why are they acting like now it's a fucking big deal that you gotta fucking learn Spanish? I hope they don't have any here, uh, anything. <laughs> so far, so good. Fuck, oh, no, never no. mind. Get fuckity fucktagon. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. I got hit by a helicopter. I should be dead. But, uh, yeah. Fucking Benjamin Franklin also said that, uh, we'd be eating sausages and shit like that because we, they would never assimilate to American culture. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'm like, uh, 
this sounds really familiar. Yeah, you know, maybe there's a reason why I don't trust Republicans when they tell me to fear somebody. Because mm -hmm. y'all were saying it about me first. Yup. I mean, regardless of that, it's always just the same bullshit comments. And it's like, it's just literally the same comment every time. It's just always the same bullshit of like, oh no, we're gonna have to accept that other cultures exist. Fucking. Like this one of my do that? favorite lines in Frank and Hulk. Wait, oh, which one? Uh, oh no, the mummy! Scary and from another culture! <laughs> yeah. Well, I've never watched good. Frank and Hole. I've meant... It I've was been a to, really good one. I've been meaning to watch that, and I've been meaning to watch Moral Oral, because I only ever watched a few episodes of that, but from what I I'm hear, sorry. like, the final season of that is supposed to go off the rails. It did. Um, it was alright. I didn't hate Moral Oral. Mm -hmm. I just didn't like it. Okay. Like, because I kept mistaking it for Davy and Goliath. Oh, which really? Is what it was the parody of. Oh, really? Yeah, you've never seen Davy and Goliath? I mean, I've seen bits and pieces. I didn't realize that Moral Oral was directly, like, making fun of that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And so, like, I... I, I didn't... I can say I didn't get a lot of those jokes. And I'd like to say that I was really young. I was in, like, high school when that was on, and I still didn't get most of the jokes. I was a very innocent, sheltered child, uh, I've realized with age. too young for that. So I was okay. in high school when it came out. Corey and I graduated in 06. Ah, oh, damn. That show is old. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it, it was a long-ass time ago. Like, I even graduated about seven years ago at this point. I graduated 11 years ago. Damn. How was that? Uh, I literally graduated just as emo music was getting popular. Oh, good timing. <laughs> I was I was at the height of emo music, and I wanted to be emo, but I was too broke to afford the clothing, so like, couldn't we do were, it. Like Good Charlotte was the closest to emo we had at the time. Yeah, they only had one album out. Oh wow. Yeah, I remember when I was in like junior high. That's about when that was happening. Yeah. Uh, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Ooh. I never Lifestyles got big into that. Lifestyles of the Rich and the Famous. You're always complaining. Always complaining. Of them. Well, they got mentioned. Think we should rob them. You know if you were famous, you could kill your wife. There's no <laughs> such thing as 25 to life. As long as you got the cash, pay for Cochrane. I mean, that's... You know, if you were caught, you were smoking crack. The dogs wouldn't even want to take you back. You could always just run to Megan of DC. I mean, shit. That shit ain't... That's not wrong. But just the way that they decided to present that was, uh... Bullshit. Laughable. God, they were so close to cool. Right? Like, they had, like, a decent message. Like, they had, like, fucking... This, they were saying the same bullshit that the fucking System of Down was saying. And it's all but true they, shit. They, they, they just didn't they present it properly. Their, their audience was mostly female. Yeah. And that's not a bad thing. Like, I don't give a no. shit. What they did was they took that and said, oh, well, if our audience is mostly female, and, you know, they like Avril Lavigne, we should do the more poppy stuff and more love songs. And yeah. They are who no effects was singing about in separation of church and state. <sighs> Alright, can I, can I take the helicopter? Take the helicopter. Because I think I've killed everyone. Take the Heckalopter. Because the helicopter will actually make taking this big satellite down a lot easier. Oh, oh, oh! God damn, that tower's so yeah. huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go! Oh, no, no, no. Whoa, no. what the fuck is happening there? I got hit. You were like hanging off the bottom of it. Yeah, like... yeah. I have a grappler. Oh. I so see. there's a sniper up here that was shooting at me. Oh, that's okay. actually I shot your balls away. You balls don't have away. a single ball to stand on. Gotta get a headshot, headshot. More than anything right now, Who I'm just happy. At, dude? I'm happy to not be dealing with fucking clients. Because hey. I gotta tell you, I've basically achieved my dream of being able to live off of voiceover now and it's it's oh, it's right. fucking just i don't know clients man clients it's it's baffling to me how like 
just like no 